Have you ever heard of epidote? It's a silicate mineral that contains calcium, aluminum, and iron. The name comes from the Greek word epidosis, which means increase or growth. Epidote belongs to the epidote group of minerals. Its color ranges from light green to deep green, sometimes appearing almost dark green or blackish. The depth of color depends on the amount of iron inside the crystal. Its crystals usually appear in prismatic, blocky or fibrous forms. They have a glassy luster and are semi-transparent to opaque. High-quality epidote shows a vivid, bright green glow. On the Mohs scale, its hardness is around 6 to 7, making it a durable mineral suitable for carving and polishing. Epidote forms under high temperature and pressure conditions. It's usually found in metamorphic rocks, such as limestone or basalt and sometimes in hydrothermal veins rich in calcium and aluminum. In nature, the formation of epidote can take millions of years because its creation requires such specific conditions. High-quality crystals are rare and often valued as gemstones or collector's pieces. Major sources include Salzburg in Austria, the French Alps, Russia, Italy, Brazil, and China. In the world of crystal energy, epidote symbolizes growth and balance. It is believed to soothe emotions, restore vitality, and correspond to the heart chakra, bringing calmness and renewal. Epidote's gentle green color is like the breath of the earth, a reminder of life's natural growth and harmony. If you enjoy stories about gemstones like this, don't forget to follow me and discover more secrets of the natural mineral world.